put a tweet out about it yesterday, and I've been banging on about this since 2016 in every FP1 that I go with, Crofty or FP2, or whatever, um, is that I still think we should have a regulation where they have to use all three compounds in the race. It'll have a two-stop race because, you know, and I immediately got a couple of texts back from engineers in the pit lane saying, well, we couldn't have done that in Miami because the soft tire wasn't good enough. But so what? You know, it would have done yeah. five or six laps. At some point, they would have all had to use it for between six and eight laps. And it would have jumbled things up around around yeah. the pit stops. And I think more in, in Baku as well, I think. And I still haven't understood why it hasn't happened. Because anytime you talk to someone at F1 or the FIA, they go, oh, that's an interesting idea. We should look into that. And then it's been seven years and nothing's actually happened. So... Um, I'm well, Karina, I feel like you have the influence within the sport. I feel like you can make this happen. Well, clearly it's not. not I've had seven years and I'm <laughs> banging my head against the wall, so it might need someone, <laughs> someone more powerful than me. I'd go with that because, you know, the best races unquestionably are the marginal two stoppers. Will they get to the end without needing a third stop? Followed by the marginal one stoppers. We used to have it a lot, didn't we, with falling off the cliff. The tire, it all looks set for the last five laps and suddenly... People just fell by the wayside. They've kind of managed that a lot better these days, both at Pirelli and and in the teams. But um, I don't. You don't necessarily want to fabricate it. But the tyres are there. They've done a world tour. Let's put them on and use them.